Hello and welcome to another edition of Dealing TV. I'm Hemok. Here with me is Dan. And today we're going to add on top of the previous episode that we did on the, the DNS 323 by adding some of the advanced features that this product has. So Dan, so what are some of the advanced features that uh, we want to cover today? Well, let's first cover some of what the preliminary, I guess, basic features are of the product that we okay. covered in the previous episode. What the DNS 323 is, is it's a network storage enclosure. Mm -hmm. So what that basically means is that you're adding hard drives to be shared among all the PCs on your home network. So again, the connection is Ethernet. Yeah, so what the, the way that it works is if you have a standard hard drive that you buy from any you know, local retail store, mm -hmm. uh, you basically pop the front off of the, the box and you insert the two hard drives in there, mm -hmm. and like you said, there's a Ethernet port, and we added gigabit Ethernet, which mm -hmm. is the fastest standard of Ethernet out there, and plugs right into your router, which is creating a home network, and you have instant storage across mm -hmm. all the PCs on your home network. And does it accept any type of um, hard drives? What it's built for is what's called SATA drives. SATA is the latest and greatest standard for hard drives. It's a lot faster, very reliable, um, and then the most popular ones that you're going to find out on the market today. And also, is it limited to a certain capacity, certain size? No. So SATA drives have grown in capacity to where you're seeing a terabyte drives now. And there isn't a limit, as far as we know, to the mm -hmm. DNS-323. We put terabyte drives in there to get two terabytes of information mm -hmm. shared across your home, home network. So what is the reason for having two bays? Well, it's, it's a couple of things. One is uh, redundancy. Mm -hmm. So you can do what's called mirroring, uh, which is also called RAID, which is basically you have two hard drives which are always going to mirror each other. Mm -hmm. So if you're saving everything to one hard drive, mm -hmm. what the DNS-323 will do will automatically take that information mm -hmm. and replicate it on the second drive. So if you're using the 323 to store all of your, your music, your photos, your videos, all of those digital mm -hmm. camera photos that you don't want to lose and you want to preserve, this is a great solution because you're putting it on one drive and it's getting mirrored and backed up too. So if, you know, by any chance one of the hard drives ever fails, mm -hmm. you have a backup right there. Great. And you could also use a drive separately so that you could store uh, additional data, correct? Yeah, so you don't have to mirror it that way. That's the way to you know, have that sort of fail-safe you know, solution that's always going to be backed up. But you can see it as two drives, and just you know, it, it increases the capacity, and you can fill them both up with uh, different types of files, et cetera. I see. In addition to uh, this product being a network-attached storage, I also heard that if you're, um, you could um, access files over the Internet, yeah, so that's one of the advanced features that we wanted to cover today. It has what's called FTP capability. Mm -hmm. So anybody who's a web programmer or who has access files remotely knows what FTP stands for. But basically what that means is that if you have all your, your files stored on this box, which is on your home network, mm -hmm. you can access this box anywhere over the Internet. Mm -hmm. It has its own IP address to where, say you're at work and you forgot your you know, Word document that mm -hmm. you worked on at home last night. You can actually log into it download it and use it at work, and then you can access it remotely. Mm, I see. What it means. How about uh, user functionalities? Can you set up different user levels so that uh, you can set up different securities, maybe some, uh, uh, some different uh, storage uh, folders and things like that? Yeah, it's, 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 it's easy enough to where if you just plug it in and you, you, know, you go through the normal setup, it's easy just to add storage, but uh, the, the features go really deep in mm -hmm. terms of scheduling, creation of folders, private folders, public folders. Um, so for advanced users who are really looking to you know, manage their storage and you know put stuff into you know places where it's secure, mm -hmm. uh, it's going to have a, a lot of features that are going to let you kind of go deep in terms of how you want to manage and set up your storage solution at home. I see. And also, I heard something about uh, how it's compatible with iTunes. Yeah. So it has uh, two media servers in it. And what that means is it has UPnP AV and it also has an iTunes server. Mm -hmm. So. I think most people are familiar with what iTunes is. So if you're using iTunes to manage mm -hmm. all of your media, your music and movies, et cetera, mm -hmm. um, you can store all of those here. And so wherever you're playing iTunes, you can actually serve them up directly uh, from this hard drive enclosure. So it's going to actually see it as a drive on your local PC. Mm -hmm. So you can keep all of those great mu you know, music files in one place uh -huh. that can be shared by all the iTunes players on all the computers across the network. I see again. So you don't manually have to drag all the songs that may be somewhere that's scattered throughout your network. If, it, if you have all those files stored in here, it will automatically... Yeah, so you can have them stored on multiple PCs across the home, mm -hmm. but then you get into that complication of, well, now I'm on my laptop and I want to hear that song that's over on my desktop, or right. vice versa, whereas if you store everything 
on a network storage enclosure now have it accessed by any of the PCs on the home network. And in addition, it has what's called a UPnP uh, AV server, mm -hmm. which is very similar. That means it's meant to stream music and media to devices, not just mm -hmm. PCs, but we also have a full line of media players that right. hook up to your TV that mm -hmm. will play all your music photos, videos from the PCs. Mm -hmm. Well, when you turn that media player on, it's also going to recognize this as a server, mm -hmm. and it's going to automatically look for any music, photos, videos on the DNS-323 and play them right on your TV. Mm -hmm. I see. And also, I noticed that this has a very rugged uh, metal casing. Yeah, we've gotten a lot of compliments on the, uh, on the durability and mm -hmm. the design of this product. It is an aluminum housing. It's got rubberized feet. It's mm -hmm. very durable. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the drives, as I showed earlier, they just slot you know, right in, um, and they're easy to... Easy to put in, mm -hmm. easy to take out, uh -huh. uh, and the design is, like you said, very rugged. I see. And also, uh, if someone, let's say, already has a uh, network installed at home, I mean, by installing a device like this, they'll be able to get a lot more out of their network, right? Yeah, so most people that have a home network, they have what's called a home router, which is very basic. It's usually a wireless home router, and mm -hmm. obviously D-Link makes a wide variety of home networking routers. And what's on the back of that router are what's called ports, mm -hmm. uh, either 10-100 ports or in the case of some of our advanced routers, a 10-100-1000, which is a gigabit port. And basically what you do is you just take the cord that comes included with the DNS-323, take it from the back of this right mm -hmm. into the back of the router, and yeah, so basically you're getting a lot more out of your home network by adding a lot of storage. There. Right. Great. Is there anything else that you like that? Um, there's a couple other features that we'll go over really quickly. You can, uh, like you had mentioned, you know, making private folders, that type of mm -hmm. thing. You can also schedule to where if you're always putting your your digital photos in my uh, my folder, my photos folders, for example, mm -hmm. you can schedule it to always download that folder uh, on a given day at a given mm -hmm. time. So you're always backing up. Um, it also has a print server on the back mm -hmm. to where if oh, you really? want to uh, include a USB printer right on the back mm -hmm. of the uh, box, it'll actually share the printer as well as all your storage across your home network. Very convenient. Yeah. Great. So again, we have to, uh, talked about some of the advanced features um, that is included with the DNS-323. If you'd like more information, just log on to dlink.com and or you could stay tuned to dlinktv.com to check out some of the other episodes. Thanks again for tuning in to dlink TV. Until next time.